Good morning everybody. This is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. Okay, we're going to be working with nodes in this video. And when you work with nodes, some people get really frustrated, but after you do it a while, so practice a little bit, it actually becomes kind of fun. Okay, so this little arrow with the dot, that's the, um, like the node editing tool is what I call it. So as you see, this heart has four nodes, and when you click on this one, let's click off of this one, click on this one, you see it has these little things, almost like teeter-totters. Well, when you bring it in, it brings that side of the heart in. Oops. When you bring it out, you see that red piece moving out there? That brings it out. So when we say uh, node editing, this is what it means. It means making these nodes do what you want. And you can bring this one in, bring it back out, and that changes the shape of it. So it's actually really fun once you start playing around, and that's what I actually encourage you to do, is just start playing around, and that will actually build your skills. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to... Um, show you how to uh, split the path okay so now this path split way over here well that's not what I want I want to split this path here and this path here oops yep it's going to act like a stinker and sometimes you'll get those but that's all they want to do is keep telling you you cannot do it. Watch, it's going to do it again. Yep. Oops. Let's delete it. Oops. I tell you, I'm having a heck of a morning. Let's delete it and let's bring one up that we haven't messed around with. You see, I always, I don't usually ever mess with these toggles right here. I always change my size and center it in using these buttons over here only. Okay, let's come back in here. Let's come here. I'm telling you, it's going to drive me crazy today. Let's choose our two points. This thing's kind of off since our new update, or since our update, our scale update. There we go. So I chose my two points, and it finally worked. And now it's split. Okay, let's choose the arrow. And you see, it's kind of extended right here for some reason. Normally this box should be right here. But let's... Okay, normally when you hover over this, this arrow should turn into the four-pointed arrow, and it's not. Okay, so I can't select this. You see this line drawn down here, so it is separated. I have to go over here and actually hover on this line to get it to move. Why is that? Well, you can see there is no center line because you split this path. Okay, but now all of a sudden, this box lays right next to this. So let's see this one. Again, you cannot click on that. You have to hover over the line and pull it back. Okay, well, I know that my cutter, in order to cut, look, these are the cut lines. Okay, so if you wanted to make, let's pretend these are wings to a butterfly, if you wanted to make the butterfly in the card so that it looks like it's actually flying out of the card you would leave it just like this because this part will stay attached to the card this would be cut out so you could bend this part up and it would be it look like it would be flying okay so if you send this file straight to the cutter it is not going to cut out what you need to do is close this path well what should I do should I come in here and grab one of these straight lines and try to finagle it on here and then union it? No. 
I'll show you what you can do. You can either highlight these separately, come up here to path, close path. Let's see if it worked. Oh, by golly gee, there it is. And do the same thing for this one. Path, close path. Preview. Always preview everything before you send it to your cutter. Always, always, always. Okay, that one is closed too. And you do not have to go up to Path Union. Look, it's not even available because you click Close Path. So that told the software to close all of your paths that are open. Okay, so there. That is how you go about splitting paths and then closing them so that now you have two separate cuts that started out originally as one and remember look at the trouble that I had um, getting that the nodes to actually work right it kept giving us that error message so that can happen just be patient um, it, it will work for you eventually okay um, so anytime you try it and now this had only four nodes in it um, when you start selecting things like get rid of this this one actually turns out really cool um, I've used this in a quilt pattern I'll show you let me center this okay let's go over here I tell you see if it'll work okay come on You see, sometimes those paths are hard to get a hold of. This end up eating up all of the inside so that it, the one when I did it, it was actually all even. So it ended up being a hollow square on the inside. And then each of these were individual. Um, it ended up, all of them look like this. Not like this. I don't know what the heck happened there. But they all ended up looking like this with the square. So when I cut the fabric out, oh my goodness, it was beautiful. So I had a separate square on the inside. And then all of these were cut with different fabric. And it went so smooth and so quick. It was amazing. Okay. So there's lots of really neat things you can do with this. When it decides to not give you the error message. Okay, guys. If you have any questions, you can find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Thanks a lot, guys.